Hi, Brentech here, where tech is made simple. So after posting yesterday that a Windows 11 24H2 is starting to become available to a limited subset of seekers who head into Windows Update and check for updates, it seems that Microsoft has caused quite a bit of confusion that's doing the rounds online. So just a quick video, um, just to kind of bring everything back into context, and I'm going to keep this as short as possible and keep this as simple as possible. Now, basically, um, what is happening is that um, reports are doing the rounds online and um, rolling out over the last couple of hours that this update available from the Microsoft Update Catalog was the upgrade to Windows 11 24H2 as a feature update. Now that is not the case and there's a couple of reasons for this and the first one I'm just going to point out uh, is because if we have a look at the actual size of the update we can see it's only 248.8 megabytes in size. Now Windows 11 24H2 is a major update and I can tell you now that the update will not only be just under 250 megabytes in size. I'm thinking looking at a couple of gigs when it comes to the 24H2 feature update. And it says that install this update to resolve issues in Windows. Okay. So this is basically a servicing update for Windows 11 24H2 PCs that have already received 24H2. As an example, Copilot Plus PCs or PCs that are in the insider program. So um, Microsoft has actually confirmed that Windows 11 24H2 is not yet rolling out to consumers or users who do not have a Copilot Plus PC. So what this update is, is just a servicing update. It's just a regular servicing update. So just to clear that confusion out of the way. Now, Microsoft has actually said over on X, and I'm quoting, if you put 24H2 on a PC, it'll get the regular servicing updates each month. So um, that's kind of expected, okay? And then they've also said, if you clean install 24, 24H2 on a PC, it'll get the normal servicing updates each month, just like Copilot Plus PCs do that ship with 24H2 already. So basically, in a nutshell, as you may well know, a PC that's not a Copilot Plus PC can also run Windows 11 24H2 and receive regular servicing updates if it were clean installed. But a PC that is currently on version 23H2, like I am, cannot in-place upgrade, which means a feature update to Windows 11 24H2 at the moment. So basically, that's what Microsoft is trying to say over on X. So this servicing update is not the feature update for Windows 11 24H2. So let's just clear that up. And it seems that um, even if you seek at this stage, um, you are not going to get the update for Windows 11 24H2 as it was originally thought. But as I have mentioned on the channel, um, as we get closer, I would suggest to the last week or so of this month, September, I would start seeking because Microsoft will start pushing that out. I would strongly suggest starting Tuesday, the 24th of September. And then if, it, if you don't get it in that week, then possibly in the Patch Tuesday update, which will be rolling out on the 8th of October. And there's quite a lot going to be happening on the 8th of October, which I've covered in previous videos. And if you don't see it then, then it must probably will roll out at the end of October and moving into November. And obviously, if your device has got a compatibility hold on it, so as an example, it may be and there may be a driver issue that Microsoft is picking up. You won't get the update until that issue has been resolved, just as a small example. So anyway, I wanted to keep this simple. I hope that clears up a little bit of confusion. And obviously, as we get closer to the release date of 24H2 later this month, moving into October, I'll keep you guys posted. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.